come now, you who say, today or tomorrow, we will go to such and such a city. Spend a year there, buy and sell, and make a profit. Remember that Yahushua said many times, well, it is written many times, that the days of the Son of Man would be like the days of Noah, and it would be like the days of Lot, that they would be buying and selling, marrying, and giving in marriage. Everybody will be living a normal life, thinking that life will go forever. And then everything will happen when they least expect it. Because people, since they have eternity in their hearts, they don't understand that that is for the next life. They relate it to this life. So they sadly think that this life will last forever and this world will last forever so come now you who say today or tomorrow those who make plans about the future and they don't really know what the almighty has for them they don't ask him they don't look for it in the sense of searching seeking the father in order to know what his plans should be what he or she should do so a lot of people like those who trust in their own strength they are making plans all the time so yeah i'm gonna make a house and i'm gonna buy this and i'm gonna buy that and then i'm gonna go live here and then i'm gonna go live that and then i'm gonna travel and it they have their whole life set up and 99 percent of the time it goes a different way most of the time completely completely different than what the person expected and that brings a lot of sadness and depression not to accept reality for the illusion, the extra illusion that they have made in their minds besides the one that they are living in this reality. So, come now you who say today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a city, spend a year there, buy and sell and make a profit. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow. So they don't know what will happen tomorrow and they are making plans for a year and more. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow, for what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Six thousand years is nothing. Before the Father is just as six days, even less than a week. Six thousand years, less than a week to the Father. To a person who lives 70, at the most 80 years, to that person, that is their entire life. That's everything. Yet 70 years in 6,000 years is nothing at all. It's like a vapor. So it is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Instead, you ought to say, if Yahweh wills, we shall live and do this or that. If Yahweh wills, if it is his will. So we must ask for his will to be fulfilled. And even when we make plans, we must add that clause. The fact that it is only if his will allows it. If Yahweh wills, we shall live and do this or that. But now you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. As written also by the prophet. That the only thing for which we could boast is about knowing the Almighty Yahweh. That is the only thing that we can boast about. The fact that we know the true Creator, thankfully. And is the greatest thing in the world. So, but now you boast in your arrogance by saying that they will have a year, two years, ten years. And not knowing really what the Almighty has for them. Or what they should have. For if they realize what they should have. Then they would be praying and asking for more time. As in asking for eternal life. For through sin, death comes. The wage of sin is death. And therefore what people deserve when they have sin, once they have sinned is death. So... 
Therefore, to him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him it is sin. This verse is also key in life. As I was saying earlier, that there are people who call on false names. They don't know what they are doing. So they cannot be judged as those who are told about it and they still do it and they don't care and they put excuses to continue doing the wrong thing. So, therefore, to him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him it is sin. So if someone knows what is the true way of doing things yet decides to do it a different way because of tradition, because of being part of the club, because of how they will be seen, etc., that person is actually sinning for not doing the good that that person knows already how to do.